Hey folks, it's Pat here. It's time for another edition of Patrick Explains It All. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about like this, uh, let's say you're in a giant workplace uh, secret Santa or like a mystery swap type thing for the holidays. It's a stressful time already. No one has time to try to pick out, you know, a bunch of different things for someone who you may not know a lot about. So here are my quick tips. Um, you gotta get five gifts, and uh, first, the only question that you need to answer is, do they like chocolate? And once you figure out if they like chocolate or not, you can get them their first gift. Here's my Monday gift. Um, we got a single Hershey's Kiss. It's gonna be delicious. Best part about it, it comes pre-wrapped. Now, for the second day, you, uh, you gotta think, what's this person's job like? And fortunately, a lot of us work in pretty similar jobs, so get them something job-related. Office supplies, often a nice touch. Day number two, Tuesday, my secret Santa person is getting this here. Uh, we got a stapler. All right, that'll be nice. Um, and as a bonus, oh, 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 it's kind of broken. Uh, on the inside, we got some uh, some staples. I don't think they'll be expecting that part, that part of the gift. Now, up until this point, I've really kind of resisted the personal touch, but uh, I am big into crafting. So I, I, I dug deep and I, and I saw what, what could I make that this person would enjoy. So I started coming up with, with a Christmas ornament idea. And uh, obviously it's, it's a little owl. Um, made it myself out of clay in uh, Sabine's art class after school one day. And I think, um, I think my person's really gonna appreciate this because, because they definitely really enjoy birds. So, uh, so that's that. Uh, and I think, I think that Thursday has got to be the hardest one of all because you're still trying to hit it off right, but maybe your initial ideas have been depleted a bit. So that's when you got to go for the re-gift. Um, a couple years ago, someone got me this awesome yet creepy mug here. Um, pretty nice. I drink out of it mainly to scare people. Um, and it doesn't really have a lot of attachment to me, but it says, uh, it's a, it, you know, it's kind of a higher quality item. So that's what I'm gonna go for for, for day, uh, day four. Now, of course, along the way, you can dress things up by making it kind of like a puzzle. Um, if you're a sadist, you can go for math problems um, or you know little, uh, little riddles to help guide people along the way, bring in your little accomplices, your elves or whatever. Um, I think the fifth day is, is the best. In Kelly's email, I think she says that, that it's supposed to be a little bit more special, um, like, uh, I think the rule of thumb there is that it should be either um, the equivalent of three months pay or it could be like a family heirloom from your grandma or something. So um, I, and it's also tricky on the, on the last day because you got to do the big reveal. So um, to accomplish both of those things, I decided that it'd be a good idea to give this uh, nice teacher of the year award to my secret Santa. You can see that I've uh, I've taped over the name here, um, and I've written their name in instead. So so it says I really appreciate you. I think the work you're doing is great. Um, and they're like, well, hold on just one second. This isn't actually actually for me. And then they peel it off, and they're like, oh oh, it comes from Pat. Ah, I see. And then they know that they can come and and they can thank me for the for the Hershey's kiss that I gave them earlier in the week that they really appreciated. So that's my hot tips on Secret Santa, as always. If uh, you wanna watch the other ones in my video, they should be available on the side here. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Bye.